All right, so for today's lesson, we are going to take a Telecaster model and we're gonna import it into Rhino and we're gonna size it properly. So I have my model open here. I'm gonna open Rhino. Go new model. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to resize my grid so it's in the proper units. So I'm gonna to go to help, type in grid grid options. You can select it from this part here or you can go into view and select it down here. So here you get a bunch of different tools for how to set up your grid. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is check units. It's in millimeters. I know that my diagram, my blueprint is in millimeters as well so that's good. Uh, the grid line count. I know that uh, the model I'm going to be making is 406 millimeters. So I'm going to make sure that my uh, model is bigger than this. So I'm going to make it 500. And I'm going to exit out of that. So now what I want to do is I want to import my image into Rhino. So for that, I'm going to go with help, type in Picture frame, select that. Select model I want to drop in. And I'm just going to place that in here. So I'm going to explode out my top view. because That's what I'm going to work in for right now. I can zoom in and out, look at my model. Uh, right now, each of these shows 10 millimeters. So this is 10, 20, 30 millimeters long. I need my image to be 406 millimeters long because we're gonna be creating the body of the guitar today, which is this section right here. So I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna resize my image using a two dimensional scale. <laughs> So I'm going to go, you can do it here using scale 2D, or you can type in scale 2D, it'll bring it up here and it'll show you where it is in the top menu list. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to click anywhere on this image and it should go yellow so that it knows that I'm trying to scale the entire image. Hit enter and I have to select an origin point and a finish point that I want to scale up. So this line right here shows 406 millimeters long. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my origin point right here. My end point at the end section of this line. And I'm gonna go over here and type in 406. Hit enter. And now it should have rescaled my image to be 406 millimeters long. So I'm going to double check that to make sure it is true. We'll zoom out a bit here. So I'm going to use the linear dimension tool. Going to select origin point. Scroll over to the end and go with the finish point. And now right in the middle of this, it should say how long this is. I'm at 406.03 millimeters. So that's correct. So I know I've scaled this properly. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna go over how to trace this uh, into a line curve. And then we'll go from there.